Well, Phil, that report uses statistics from 2008 from all over the state of Missouri. A lot of people will remember how violent a year that was here in Kansas City. 126 people were killed. 95 of them were African American. Nicholas Emery shot in Westport April 25th. Lahoma Benton shot at 27th and Monroe September 20th. Terrell McKinney and Luante Brown shot at 40th and Elmwood October 16th. That's just four of the African American victims from 2008, a deadly year that helped Missouri take over the number one ranking in the nation. That's a, a case that you don't want to be number one. You'd rather be way down where you're not even thought about. The Violence Policy Center used FBI data from 2008 and found Missouri had 287 African American homicide victims. We, we ought to be shame, shame on us. A closer look at those numbers shows Kansas City and St. Louis accounted for 246 of them. It's disturbing that our city and the city of St. Louis, our sister city to the east, make up what this report is all about. But even more disturbing to Alvin Brooks, no one is shouting from the rooftops. Should be outcry from the capital, from each of those the, the cities, as well as outstate folks who make up the, the uh, state legislature. I mean, wherever you live in the state of Missouri, that's not a good image for your state to have. The numbers are alarming and have been for years. Kansas City averages more than 100 homicides a year, and most are African American. Some years, the numbers lessen but then jump. Try to make a dent in this whole thing called violence and seem like as soon as you take one step forward, you take two or three backwards and you never get a hit. That report concluded with yet another startling statistic. African Americans represented 13 percent of the nation's population in 2008. However, they accounted for 48 percent of all the homicide victims. Alvin Brooks wants uh, city and state leaders to step forward with solutions. For instance, programs that keep kids in school and off of the streets. Eric Burke, Fox 4 News, working for you live near downtown.